standing on sacred ground. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The man who made this happen is not just an ordinary man. Because ordinary men don't think like he thought. Ordinary men don't do like he did. He was a man that God sent this way. And he rose up out of a culture that nobody would think that greatness would come out of. It's like the Bible says about where Jesus was born. Can any good come out of Nazareth? Can any good come out of the hood? And Nipsey answered and said, here am I. Yes, sir. Send me. I thank God for Brother Minister Tony and the work that he and the believers did last Sunday to show a demonstration of love for Hermes Asgadon. Hermes. I like that name, but Nipsey is great too. Because in the original language, in Eritrea, he's a home. Nipsey means home. One of the brothers that never forgot his roots. So all of you that love him, you cannot let his legacy die. He called it a marathon. And you know a marathon is no lightweight jog or sprint. As Jesus said it, the race is not to the swift or even to the strong, but the race is to those who can endure to the end. What our brother has done, God has called him back to himself. He's like somebody that God lent to the world like he lent you and me to the world. You can't stay forever because life must fade and fade away and ultimately the flesh will die and return to the earth. But where you come from, listen to me carefully, yes, sir. where you come from, you can't return to God if you didn't come from God. So that spirit that is in you, the energy of your life, you must use it like Nipsey used his. He used it in song, but his songs had meaning. He used it in what he did with his life. His life had meaning. And on this hallowed ground, Practically every set, every member of what they call the gang, leaders showed up here on this site and pledged to make the peace and keep the peace. The scripture said, blessed are the peace makers. Right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So you can't keep what you have made. So once the peace is made, then the peace must be kept. And the enemy does not want peace. The enemy wants to keep this killing of one another going. Because as long as we keep killing one another, <coughs> He can maintain power 
in what we call the tyranny of white supremacy. We can end all of that if we end our self hatred. Come on. Yes, sir. There's no reason for you to hate yourself. That's no, right. Sir. You are a direct descendant of God Himself. That's, That's right. right. Yes, so sir. Each time you look at yourself right. in the mirror, That's you're right. looking at a part of God. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead, Go ahead, brother. And when I look at you, I see God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So how do you talk to God? Mm -hmm. How do you walk with God? Come on, how do you embrace God? Come on. <coughs> you embrace him like you know you're right. talking to God. Right. You don't scream at God. Mm -hmm. You don't punch God in the face. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, minister. You don't knock God out. Mm -hmm. Because God got juice. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? Say saying you're the people of God. Right. Right. And Nipsey showed you and me the way. He was a part of gang life. You know that. He never denied that. He smoked reefer. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Go ahead, brothers. I didn't come down from heaven. I came up from hell just like you. That's right. And I read or heard something that Nipsey said when Charlemagne, God, asked him, You still smoke a reefer, brother? He said, No. You see, you put reefer down? <laughs> Yeah. He said, why you do that? And Nipsey said, because I got to keep focused. Right. That's right. I don't need anything that will take me away from focusing on what we have yet to do, the road that we have yet to travel, the race that we have yet to run. I got to stay focused. Then he asked, well, will you ever smoke again? He said, well, when I get angry, I want to beat somebody up, I'll smoke a job. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, brothers and sisters, I, uh, I used to be in show business, and when I was in show business, I smoked reefer. And in those days, Gunja wasn't like it is today. Now. That's right, bro. Now I got some stuff. I don't know what that is. That's right, bro. That's right. Yeah, that's the stuff that we smoke today. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. But in the, oh, yeah, that's what they call it. They call it the ooh, wheat. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot afford no ooh, wheat. <laughs> I got it. So you, because the peace that was made here, you have to remain focused so that the enemy won't cause it to go backwards. Nobody that loved your pain wants that pain to stop. They want to see you high. They want to see you at war with each other. They want to see you killing each other, and they love it That's right. when we are burying mm. the great mind, mm. the great future that is ours. <clears throat> Do you know that every time you say a prayer, if you've got somebody in your family that died from cancer, from AIDS, from breast cancer, from other diseases. Do you know you would like to see that end, especially when it takes somebody that you love? Right. So what do you do? In a moment, you fall down on your knees or you stand up straight and you ask God to help us in the scourge of cancer. The scourge of diabetes, the scourge of obesity. And where do you think the answer is coming from? It don't fall down out the sky. 
the answer is coming from the womb of one of these young or older women. These are what you call simple women, meaning they're not thinking that they're great, but what their womb is producing. If you kill it, you may be killing the answer to your prayers. Because from your womb came all the prophets. From your womb came Jesus and Moses and Abraham. From your womb came Martin Luther King, Al uh, uh, Malcolm X, <laughs> Tony Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. yes, sir. That's right. From the womb. So look, man, we got to protect our women. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have to respect our women. Yes, sir. We have to know how precious her womb is. Yes, sir. And know that the next leader, like the mother of Nipsey, and the father of Nipsey produced a giant. You got giants coming up young. We got to protect them. You don't know who you brought into the world, but they're smarter than most of us. At two years old, they computer savvy. That's right. That's right. I'll tell you a little story about my daughter and her husband. The husband is a computer giant, a user, and so. He has his computer, and he would come home, and all of a sudden the computer was messed up, like somebody was doing something with it, and he accused my daughter, who was his wife, what you doing messing with my computer? He said, I, I didn't touch it. He said, well, somebody touched it. So what they did, they watched the baby. The baby just crawled on over to the computer, <laughs> turned it on, and broke the code and opened that man's computer. My grandson did that all the time. And they were behind looking at who was messing up that computer. It was a child less than two years old. Do you know what you? A new world is on the horizon yes, that's right. that the enemy does not want you to see or to produce. So keep the peace that you are making. Don't go backward, go forward. And I say this with all humility that Brother Tony and the work, that Brother Tony and the FOI and the MGT. How many of you were in the MGT and the FOI that marched out here on Sunday? May I see your hands? Let me tell you something. <laughs> I saw that. And I have never seen anything in my life so beautiful mm -hmm. as you sisters showing the world what Elijah Muhammad and his teaching does for black people <coughs> who want to become great. I saw the brothers marching in their uniform. And we gave the world a picture of what a civilized man and woman, a fearless man and woman looked like. That's right. That's right. That's right. And all over the world, yes. the world got shook. Yes, right. yes, sir. They watched it. Yes, and by the millions, they are viewing it. Yes, right. sir. And I said to myself, boy, did they make my job a little yes. easier? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, whack yes, sir. No. You gave the world a view of where we are going. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. The cleanness of our bodies. Come yes. on. The cleanliness of our minds. Right. The brightness of our skin. The light that is in our faces is the light of God. That's right. You don't have to die so soon. That's right. What? That's right. 
But the life that you have is a gift from God, and it's your duty to preserve it and protect it. So please, let the blue and the red come together. The black and the brown. The red. The poor white. Come on. Raggedy too. 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 Rag Ten percent brown, ten percent black. It is a small percentage that controls the masses, <laughs> and God wants the masses of all to be free. Yes, so let's get busy. Yes, sir. Let's not have this again. Yes, sir. These represent all the slain. Is that right? Yes, sir. This represents people who are remembering their son, their brother, their uncle, their father, their homie that got shot down. We can stop that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But now I, I, I see that Brother Tony, I mean the police talking, we never saw nothing like this. Right. Hmm. I mean, we didn't know you all was like this. Mm -hmm. Somebody lied to us about y'all. Like your poor little brother here. You can't even go in the restroom if I'm in there. Because they swear you're going to get a Firecon disease. <laughs> and come out talking trash. <laughs> They're terrified. Yeah, right. They're terrified not because I'm a hater. Right. They're terrified because I'm a lover. Right. And I'm a lover of life and the people of God. Yes, sir. And every human being that is struggling, we love them like we love ourselves. Yes, sir. So the black and the brown are not having us fighting each other. That's right. Because that makes the enemy happy. That's right. We're not going to fight and kill each other because that's what makes the enemy happy. Nobody stands to gain by the slaughter of our brother Nipsey. He didn't gain. We didn't gain. The enemy gained because he said if this black man can tie us together with high technology, mm -hmm. If this black man can put out a documentary on Dr. Sibi, if this black man can rise above gang culture and the red and the black, I mean the uh, blue, come together as one, you'll produce a change in America, you'll produce a change in the world, and you will be the author of that change Come on. and the beneficiary of what comes from that change. Yes. So may God bless you. Bless you too, brother. May God keep you. May God grant you knowledge, <coughs> wisdom, understanding, and power that we may put Satan to a perpetual <coughs> life yes. and make a better world for all of us to live together in peace. Thank you, Brother Tony. Thank you. Thank you, members of the nation. Thank all the brothers and sisters of the rolling 60s, <coughs> the Hoover, all the gangs, all the gangs. All of them. That's right. Thank you all. Let's make this pledge. Everyone that died did not die in vain. Everyone that was slaughtered on the streets of Los Angeles did not 
die in vain. How do you mean that, Farrakhan? Because so many have died. We're sick and tired of burying our great men and women. Yes. It's over. Yes, sir. And we've got to make, put it to rest yes, sir. and make our nation rise again. Yes, Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, sir. Okay, let's start.